Hello guys, it's Steven here from Web Mutual, and you are welcome to today's edition of your daily tech tips where we talk about interesting and trending technologies. So feel free to like, comment, share the video when you are done watching, of course. Today we are talking about an interesting technology yet again. Yeah. So you order for your favorite pizza, you order for a ride sharing, um, like Uber, Bolt. Have you ever wondered how they get to drive directly to your location without getting lost? Of course, if they know where you stay, that's easier. But what if they don't know where you stay? You only give them your location and they are still able to get to the address that you give them. Yes, so this is made possible by a technology called GPS, Global Positioning System. And that's what we are going to talk about today. So stay tuned and then see you in the lesson. Okay guys, so what is a GPS or Global Positioning System? The GPS is a satellite-based radio navigation system owned by the U.S. government and operated by the U.S. Space Force. And this helps to tell us exactly where we are on Earth. It is actually one out of four which comes together to form what we call the global navigation satellite systems so what are the other three or the other three that forms part of the gnss or global navigation satellite system so first of all we have um, glonass glonass is developed and operated by the russian federation then we also have Galileo, named after the famous scientist Galileo, and is developed and operated by the EU, the European Union. Finally, we have Beidou, which is de developed and um, operated by the Chinese. Now, these four um, satellite navigation systems come together to form what are talked about that is the gnss or global navigation satellite system so next time you hear of gps just know that there's also Beidou, there's also glonass there's also galileo which also provides information to us on earth just that the gps is the most popular how does a gps operate so GPS is actually made up of three segments. You have the space segment, you have the control segment, and then you have the user segment. The space segment is the satellite that is orbiting, I mean operating in space. This is what helps us to, um, this is what transmits signals to the Earth to help us to read our location information this space segment has to be controlled from somewhere and that is done by the control segment so whilst the space segment is orbiting in space there is a control segment where you have a, a crew who monitors the operations or the activities of the space segment 24 7 to make sure that it is doing what it's supposed to do and it is in good shape lastly we have the user segment so the user segment is what most of us are aware of you know your phone your your, your gps handheld receiver that receives these broadcast signals the gps satellites um, broadcast their signals from space like i said that's a control segment and each GPS receiver, so like you can see in the picture, uses these signals to calculate um, a three-dimensional location. You have your latitude, you have your longitude, latitude as in Y, your longitude as in X, 
and then your altitude which is your height which is the z and then also your current time now which devices or technologies use gps technology okay you order for your favorite pizza and it gets delivered to you you order for a ride and the driver is able to um, drive to your location this mostly uses phone gps okay so most of the cars i mean the uber cars and then you know the dispatch riders use gps you also use it when you use google map or other mapping technologies to navigate to go for hiking or to to drive around then we also have gps on board vehicles modern vehicles use their own gps technology to help them to drive around of course without gps technology then the pilot could be lost in in space wouldn't know where exactly he is flying to and your 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 handheld gps used by mine agents by um, geologists used by um surveyors and then what have you are gps dangerous to humans and yes well for now i would say no um, because i believe that GPS technology provides um, more, you know, it, 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 it does a lot more uh, than you can think of. Without GPS technology, it would be very difficult for um, planes to navigate, to fly from one country to the other. When you, of course, order for your favorite pizza, you need GPS um, and technology to be able to share your location and then also for the dispatch rider to be able to drive to your location. GPS helps us to, to communicate our location all over the world and it's a very useful technology. But with time, there may be growing concern as um, uh, nations, multi I mean, national nations. Uh, try to compete for a lot of uh, try to compete for supremacy in space gps or satellites have their own time they spend around in space and so you, you shouldn't be worried that gps is going to fall on it no so in most cases when gps um i'm sorry when satellites are are done i mean they spend their their lifetime they could be sent to a nearby um planets to be destroyed or they could be directed to the oceans okay guys so um i hope you learned a lot and um i hope you would comment you can share you can like the video and then hope to see you in another video have a nice time bye bye